And this episode of Pen Point starts right now. This episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at www.audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint. Uh, like I said, I've been reading the daily. And there's this article in the daily, which I'm not going to pull up on the daily. I'm going to pull this up on... Um, on a website, which the Daily does, because uh, once it's done, it's a, it's an article in the Daily that was uh, I don't see the date on this. Yeah, it's called uh, Revolution Eyes, and it was in the uh, Daily. It's on Daily.com. Revolution Eyes, get it? Revolution Eyes, get it? Revolution Eyes, and there's this company. I want to look over this. It's fascinating. This starts out with, you know, shoplifting celebrity stuff on Lindsay Lohan, which I do not care about at all. I don't care about her at all. Um, but um, what they're starting to do is they're starting to do this thing where they put up anti-shoplifting video, video cameras, and then they can send them to the web and people can watch them at home. So it's amateurs watching it and they give them uh, a bonus for the person who catches the most shoplifters. Um, so it's, uh, there's one, Face Watch uh, UK and another company, um, I don't see what it is. This is all, oh, Internet Eyes. This is all over in uh, Europe and it's only really working in Britain because Britain seems the most comfortable with the Big Brother kind of stuff because of course, George Orwell oh, oh, well, was from there. <laughs> um, uh, this is something, and this is this, uh, this, this is a great book called The Transparent Society, written by a guy who uh, hates me. But it's The Transparent Society. I just blanked in his name because he hates me so much that I forget his name. But uh, <laughs> uh, The Transparent Society, which changed my whole thinking on this, and also the movie Look by Adam Rifkin. Um, the idea of when you're in a store, people can see you is okay. That's not a question of privacy. It's a question of the town square. The idea that you can be in a public place and people can be watching you is okay. So what I'm saying is, as much as I consider myself a civil libertarian, I am totally on the side of people who want to stop shoplifting by sending video feeds of public areas. I, by public areas, I mean, you know, open to the public, you know, private land, but public areas. On public land with police, it's a whole different thing. But as long as the feeds can go to everyone, if I go into Walmart and there are cameras up there and those cameras are being watched on the internet, I'm absolutely fine with that. I should not, if I'm in public, I know I can be watched. The idea is like in a, an Italian town square. Like I said, this is all the ideas from Transparent Society. None of these are mine. The idea that there's an Italian town square and there's windows up all around and when you're walking through that town square uh, you know that somebody could be watching you. You don't know if they're looking out the window that second or not but it is not private. The camera cannot be in your home, you know, uh, it cannot be in a place that you know you're private, it cannot be in your bedroom, right? They can't fly in mosquito cams, dragonfly cams and take, uh, and take a video of you in your home. You draw the line there. but. I think it's okay to stop shoplifting. And a lot of times people think, you know, shoplifting is like you're ripping off big corporations. You're not. You're ripping off other people. If there were no shoplifting in this country, everything gets way, way stupid cheaper, okay? They're always going to pass the problem of shoplifting off to you. They've got to. That's how they make the profit. So uh, the idea that there's cameras all over and then they're available on the internet and if someone happens to see somebody on this internet feed committing a crime, they can report it to the police and to the end of the town. Seems to me to be great. I'm all for it. So when you think that Penn is just this nut, you know, uh, uh, right across the line, um, uh, you know, uh, ACLU type guy, there's a little bit of distinctions. And I've argued with Nadine Strawson, who used to be the um, president of the ACLU. I argue with her about this, about privacy. But the, the, if you have a camera mounted, 
If only one person can see that camera, it's a violation of privacy. If everybody can see that camera and that camera is out in the open, then it is okay, it is free. If the police want to put up all these traffic cameras and all these cameras on street corners, that's absolutely okay, but just open it up to all of us. And by the way, put cameras open up to all of us in interrogation rooms and anywhere, you know, I mean, uh, where there any sort of public area and police stations so we can all watch the watchers to get back to the watchman thing. So um, I'm reading the Murdoch thing. I'm reading daily. It's not very good. Only a couple articles I was interested in. This was one of them, the article on uh, revolution eyes. And I just want to go on record. So far, I'm entirely in favor of people being able to watch stores from their home and look for shoplifters to make extra money in their spare time. And speaking of not shoplifting, this episode of Pen Point brought to you well, you know the rest. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod, MP3 player, and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, go to audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint for your free audiobook.